Welcome to the Student Services presentation of post-secondary timelines and general application information. I'm Mrs. Kanna Rudy, Student Services Coordinator, and along with Mrs. Bella Bowery, we will take you through important information regarding graduation requirements, research tools that provide timelines, and application information for both college and university. Students can access their Aspen student portal and also their My Blueprint accounts from the virtual commons. It is important for students to check their credits so that colleges and universities have accurate data. Students can check their My Blueprint account to view their graduation progress. There, students can check to make sure all needed compulsory courses are being met. Students will also receive a paper copy of their credit history. Students must check that all graduation requirements are on track. Also, there are extra requirements for graduation. The community service requirement is 40 hours and students need to complete the literacy test requirements. At graduation, students who have completed over 80 hours of community service will be recognized with a Crusader certificate and those students who have an 80% average from six grade 12 courses will be recognized with an Ontario Scholar Certificate. Students should be checking student announcements, the monthly newsletter, and the school calendar for updates. All post-secondary information will be posted on the guidance page, which is found on the virtual commons. Also, the best place to find information is the college and university websites. They offer open houses, informational webinars, and representatives are available for virtual and in-person presentations. This time of year, university and college representatives reach out to the high schools to offer presentations. Presentations that are scheduled are listed on the guidance page and are also announced on the student announcements. Applications become open in October and students can apply to the Ontario College Application Service, or OCAS, as soon as the programs for September 2023 become available. Students can apply to the Ontario University Application Centre, or OUAC, as soon as they receive the access information and personal identification numbers in late October. The first transmission of data to OUAC and OCAS takes place in early October. Current transcripts as well as students' timetables are sent to UAC and OCAS. The next transmission of data is November 18th, when midterm marks are sent. Although December 15th is not a deadline date, it is recommended that students have their applications prepared by December 15th. Students can still change their choices and add information to their applications. The actual deadline date for applications to the Ontario University Application Centre is January 12th. February 1st is the deadline date for the Ontario College's application. Students can apply after that date as long as the program is open. But programs that are highly competitive will place students on wait lists after the deadline date. It is always best to apply before the application deadline dates. Semester one midterm marks are sent in November and final marks are sent in February. Midterm marks for semester two will be sent in April. Students must confirm that they have accepted an offer of admission to an Ontario college by May 1st on their OCAS account and by June 1st on their UAC account. Many students will choose to apply to both Ontario colleges and Ontario universities and often find that there are many options. Students applying to university must first apply to an undergraduate program called a bachelor's degree. Bachelor's degrees are generally three years or four years if it is an honors program. Bachelor's degrees are offered at both colleges and universities. Students can further continue their studies at university to complete a master's degree or doctorate. There are also graduate certificate programs at colleges that require a student complete a bachelor's degree or a college diploma program first before applying. 
students interested in becoming a teacher have two options. They can apply to a concurrent education program offered at a university and they would be completing two programs concurrently. Some universities do not offer concurrent education. In this case, students would need to apply to a faculty of education after they finish their bachelor's degree first. College diploma programs also have many connections to universities and the website ontariotransfer.ca allows students to view the agreements between colleges and universities across Canada. There are also university preparation certificate programs at colleges where students achieve the preparation for a specific degree program offered at the college. Also, there are collaborative programs offered at institutions where students can finish with both a college diploma and a university degree at the same time. The main site to research and apply to college is OCAS, Ontario College Application Service. Students use this site to research and apply to college. For most college programs, students need to have a high school diploma with grade 12 college English and grade 11 college math. Science programs at college may require a grade 11 biology, grade 12 chemistry, grade 12 math or physics. The majority of grade 11 and 12 courses should be at the college level or higher. For the application, no access code or PIN code is required. Students will need their OEN number or their Ontario education number, which can be found on Aspen or their report card. Students will also need a credit card and the application fee is $110. Students will get five choices and no more than three choices can be made at one school. There may also be some additional requirements such as an audition for music programs, a portfolio for art programs, or maybe an additional science aptitude test for more competitive science programs. To apply to college, students must first set up an account in ontariocolleges.ca. Here, students can watch a how-to video and see the step-by-step -step process to apply. Students can go to the Applying drop-down menu and click on Canadian Applicants to watch the video. On this site, students can also do their main research by keyword or category. College Mondays is a virtual event which occurs every Monday starting in October and November on Zoom. Students can pre-register for a panel discussion to speak to college reps and ask questions about various programs. See the Ontario College's website for more information. Ontario Colleges have their own app. Students can research from this app and they can even apply from this app. To apply to universities, students need six grade 12 U or M level courses, including English and prerequisites for particular programs. Please note that co-op is not considered a U or M level course. Also, universities have specific criteria for different programs. Students must research each university program for specific details. For example, McGill University requires four grade 12 courses to be at the U level. Students may also need to do additional requirements such as an essay, portfolio, audition, or interview. Once students have applied to their program, the universities will inform them of specific requirements. At the end of October, the Application Centre will send out the access codes and we will let students know when they are available on the announcements. The cost of the application is $150 for three choices and $50 for each additional choice. If students want to be considered for an early offer, they need to apply by December 1st. Decisions will be made based on their grade 11 grades. Each university program will review applications that are submitted before the January 12th deadline date and determine if an early offer is appropriate. 
most university programs will wait until they see their first semester final marks in February before they make a final decision. Students will apply on UAC, Ontario University Application Centre. Here they can watch a how-to video or do some research on particular programs. The application is also on this website. We also recommend students to research on the Ontario University's info site. Students who are currently attending Holy Cross will apply on the 101 application. Students who are interested in looking ahead and researching med schools, law schools, faculties of education, and rehab programs can also do so from this site. Students who need to research specific requirements for programs can do so on the Ontario University's info site. Students can browse by category or by keyword. Here, students can see specific averages for programs and course requirements. Students can click on compare and compare different programs and create a comparison chart for themselves for quick reference. If students are interested in universities or colleges outside of Ontario, they need to apply directly to the college or university website. There will be additional fees for this. Some schools can access their grades through their UAC account. For example, Acadia, Bishops, UBC, Concordia, McGill, Dalhousie, University of New Brunswick, Simon Fraser, University of Victoria, University of Calgary, and St. Mary's will retrieve their grades through their UAC account. Other schools will require us to send a transcript, and this can be done through student services. Anyone interested in the Royal Military College or taking a program funded by the military must go to their recruitment centre for more information. A number of scholarships and bursaries available to students. These are based on students' marks, volunteer work, community involvement, extracurriculars, and financial need. Students are most likely to get money based on their grades. 80% and higher will usually result in a financial award. Financial awards are offered usually with offers of admission and may be reviewed in July once final marks are submitted. Other larger scholarships are available. The Loran is a $100,000 scholarship and the application is now open and due on October 12th. The Chancellor Scholarship is a Queen's Scholarship valued at $36,000. However, it requires a school nomination. Holy Cross can nominate two students and the draft application is due on November 8th. The Schulich Leader Scholarship is a Science, Technology, Engineering and Math Scholarship. One student from Holy Cross can be nominated and this application is due on January 10th. The University of Toronto has a National Book Award which also requires a school nomination. That application is due October 4th. Students should meet with their guidance counselor for more information. Co-op is another great way for students to earn money and make connections while attending university. Students will spend four months of their year working for a company and getting paid. They are learning on the job and gaining valuable experience for future employment. Please check the financial aid tab on the university and college websites for more information. There are a number of search engines available to help students sort through the scholarships. Students create a profile and the search engine will match scholarships to the students. OSAP is a student loan and the application usually opens in May. First generation is money that is available if you are the first person in the family to attend post-secondary. And the Queen's Promise Scholarship is a bursary based on significant financial need. The universities are offering virtual fairs. The next one will be offered on Tuesday, October 26 from 5 till 7 p.m. 
There will also be an in-person regional fair on October 11th from 5 to 9 p.m. at Queen's Athletics and Recreation Centre. St. Lawrence College will be hosting an open house and college information fair on October 26th from 1 o'clock to 2.30 p.m. There will be a school bus provided to this event and students will then make their way home. If students are accessing e-learning courses, please ensure that current marks are being transferred to OCAS or UAC. Please see your guidance counselor to ensure your e-learning codes are listed. Students who are interested in apprenticeships should start with a co-op and then eventually continue on to OYAP, the Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program. Employers must be willing to agree to sign on the student to do work for the employer. If you are interested in the OYAP program, please meet with your guidance counselor. Dual credits are also available at St. Lawrence College. This gives students the opportunity to try a college credit while going to high school. If you are interested in trying a dual credit, please see your guidance counselor. All of the websites used in today's presentation are available on this handout called Useful Research Tools. This handout and other pertinent handouts are available on the guidance page in the Virtual Commons. The Transition Resource Guide is a great website for students who are on an IEP. They provide information for transitioning to post-secondary and additional scholarship information specifically for students who are on an IEP. Are you looking for volunteer hours? We are interested in having senior students help grade 9 and 10 students in various subject areas. If you're interested in helping, please send your guidance counselor an email or come into Student Services to sign up. The guidance counselors are taking in-person appointments and would be happy to discuss future pathways with you. Please email your guidance counselor for an appointment.